in Bosnia, another train surfing adventure. Spontaneous as the previous one. It's a very confusing country, a lot of history, a lot of shit I don't want to mention. I'm gonna fill you in in the details as we keep moving. As always, I'm rusty as hell in the beginning. Starting off on a bit of a cold day, it was snowing yesterday. We've been in this country for a couple of days, getting familiar with the place, scouting out some yards. Poison over here. I guess round two of the Balkans should be fun. Right now we're heading towards the bus station. We don't have any supplies yet. We're gonna buy supplies and the town that we're going to, we're quite close to the edge of the country. We're going to surf to Dubai, from Dubai to Sarajevo, from Sarajevo to the coast. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna fill you in on more details as we move. I always suck with the intros. The bus should actually come in like five minutes, so we gotta hurry. Uh, yeah. One train is going to leave today in the direction of the boy. Hopefully we can catch it. It's a small town, it has a store. We'll buy supplies there. We should be there in about 40 minutes. Yep. Firstly, we're gonna go to the store right there. Secondly, we're gonna go check out the station. Everything is close by, it's a small town. Also, since I was here yesterday, I have a little friend I'm going to check up on nearby the mine, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna check out since we're gonna do a lot of waiting here. Things are moving slow. heading to the yard bridge, get a bit of an overview. Seemed quiet of course. Hopefully something's gonna come in the next four hours. Yeah. Alright, Poison's doing his thing. Okay, I see one locomotive. It is attached to these wagons that are getting filled right now. Yeah, so the wagons got filled up here. Right there in the back, there are workers working on the tracks. Alright, alright, we might have something. Cool. What the hell? And it really attracted some attention over here. What's the problem? Uh, I don't know. Where does this go? What? What are you afraid of? Zdravo. What's the problem with this? Oh, I don't know. Uh, where are we from? Well, what a welcome. The locals here really afraid of cameras. Everybody was just looking like, what the fuck is going on? So when the police came, the guy actually spoke English and he said, the guy was giving a shit because we were filming nearby the factory and apparently we cannot show footage of the factory or some shit. I don't know what that means. I don't give a fuck. So yeah, we have some locomotives here. The yard seems pretty non-secured apart from some workers walking around. We're gonna have to avoid them. But now things are moving really slow here. So to kill some time, we're gonna go check out the mine. So this is a little ghost town, right before the big mine. You see the excavator. We actually climbed that shit yesterday. Now it's working. I'm more interested in who lives in this ghost town. Hi. <laughs> Got your proper bowl. 
and got you some animal food, the same kind I ate. So we actually were walking around here yesterday, just stumbled on him. Ah, oh, that's great. All right, just using this now. Somebody brought him water. There was a bowl here. I just threw out the old water and poured the new because it was stale. At least it's not gonna die because these couple of nights are gonna be the coldest, although it survived winter somehow. So yeah, mine is working. Not gonna go too close there. Don't want to piss the people off. They're pretty sensitive about this place, apparently. I guess because a lot of people died here, I guess that's why the guy was kind of picky at filming it. Don't want any negative attention to it. So that's the little guy I wanted to visit. Doesn't have that much living around here. All of these houses we checked yesterday, they're deserted. So yeah, Poison's gonna get a couple more shots here. Better chill with the dog and start moving back towards the yard. Hopefully everything's gonna be calmed down a bit more. Some locomotives attached. We can get the hell out of this town and move closer to the boy. Okay. This is a problem. There's another puppy here. This one is not well. Do you want to eat? That's all I can do for now. If we stay here longer, then I'm gonna bring him some food again. Yeah. So that's the little detour. We heard trains moving a bit. We hear them beeping right now. Hopefully we didn't miss a train, but I mean, even if we did, I'm not that, not that sad about it. If we're gonna stay here longer, I'm definitely gonna come back. I don't really know any people here to like direct the puppies to. Hopefully they survive, we helped a bit. Gotta keep moving. Okay, so we just saw a train depart into that way. We just missed it. We were too far to run. We're thinking this is a pretty good spot to wait at. Nobody from the town should see us here and any train departing we would be able to catch. So we don't know how many trains run here per day. Could be a couple, could be one. Guess we'll see as always. At least it's not snowing like it was yesterday. Update you when something changes. <sighs> All right, switch locations. We were waiting there. Now we're on this side. It's Christmas. Unbelievable. It smelled like an hour since we came here. Nothing so far. A worker walked by, gave us the stink eye, kept walking. <laughs> Don't know. There did go a locomotive. That point is, we're waiting. Weather shit. Right now, we waited for about five hours. Hopefully, something comes before eight. Yeah. Hi. It's still alive, it's just in a very bad condition. I'm pretty sure the bigger one's heating up the smaller one. God damn. All right, we gotta take him somewhere. Up on him. Which one should we try? The one with the dogs already? I think so. You find? Yes. We need someone maybe. To stay. For stay. For stay, yeah. You put them back? There, yeah. That's not, they're gonna die, look.
Kijk, kom, kom. Okay, back at the station. There is a connection right here with locomotives on both sides. We're gonna get to the other side where we were waiting when it was snowing off from there. Yeah. We tried, nothing's moving. It is 10 right now. It is zero degrees. In a couple hours, it's gonna be like minus. Feel very tired, feel very cold, feel very hungry. All down our feet. Just Moving stuck here in a set of camp, gonna sleep a bit away from town. Pick up tomorrow, see what what we want to do, but we're probably not sticking around here anymore. Yeah. All right. My setup is done. Got a tarp, hammock, under quilt with a sleeping bag inside. No more sleeping pads. And this is poison setup. Tent, sleeping bag, and mat. Pretty cool. I'm hungry as hell, cold, tired. Eat some of my food, get into the hammock. Hopefully tomorrow, one way or another, we can progress forward. Cause uh, this was not that fun. Right now it is 12. It is minus 2 degrees. It's gonna get colder in the next couple of hours. Hopefully I can rest tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep comfortably, but we'll see. All right, talk to you in the morning. Good morning. That was a terrible night. So right now it is about 7.30. I barely slept. It is still very cold. I was just tossing and turning a lot. I got up to exercise a couple of times. Minus four, minus five. And the equipment that I have is best for like around five degrees. Gotta get out of this hammock, eat something, pack up and go check the station, I guess. I think Poison's still sleeping. Oh no. Sweet. Seems like it's gonna be a nice day. Sun's coming out. I think the plan for today, however we want, leave this damn station. I'm gonna start uh, backing up the gear and we'll go to town maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, the stupid train's making their stupid train noises. Yeah, so the connection in front of us is ready. Oh, maybe we can get on it. Maybe it's gonna leave. People are on that side. People are on this side, staring at the train, staring at us as well. I like cameras better. People suck when they're just walking around and they can stop this train real quick. I guess might as well leave this town quietly. One station forward. So we're thinking we're gonna take the bus. Should come in like 30 minutes. Yes, 
All right, we're at the Banya Lucas station. Bus station, train station's on the right. The station that we were waiting, Omarska. The trains that go here should come from there. But we're hoping that they actually stop here. There's less people walking around. We might be able to get on. Right, looks interesting. All right, so this is the station. Just gonna go to these abandoned wagons and wait. There's a lot less people here. This is a pretty comfortable spot, pretty hidden. These wagons don't seem very rideable, but further along, there are some that could be. Perfect. Okay, we're just gonna chill here. There's a nice quick way out. If we sit down, we're not visible. Hopefully something's gonna come in like the next couple of hours. Just don't really wanna wait till the night again. No. Come on. I think we're gonna leave. I hope Poison made it on. We just had to rush through. These are the same wagons that we waited for in Omarska. It's the same bullshit filled up. And I saw a person outside, so we gotta lay low in the city. Somewhere there is a person standing. It's all green, it's good. Just hope that at the next station we won't be looked for. We did it. Fuck yeah, man. Bro, I was like hanging so low, like my ass was low to the track. When I was jumping on, there was no ladder. I had to hold on to the fucking on. thing. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. So right now, we're going towards the iron ore processing facility. We're going to try to hop out a bit before it in a city called Des Moines. And then from there, catch a freight to Sarajevo and then towards the sea. But right now, hopefully we have a smooth two and a half hour ride till Des Okay, we 
have left the city and we're moving along this route in between the mountains which is pretty beautiful. It seems like it has to drive slow here because there's a lot of buildings and stuff. I assume for the next like 50 kilometers we're gonna be driving quite slow but then it's gonna go into a bit more of a wild area and we should be good. All right, we got a long way to go to the boy. Right now we are here, we're going right there. Okay, just stop. Check if there's a crossing. Okay, it's moving. Every time they stop, it's in the middle of nowhere. There was not even a crossing ahead. Of course, we're gonna think it's for us. It's so weird. We're not used to the schedule at all. Maybe they just wanted to take a piss or something. Okay, it's good. We're making progress. Slow ass progress, but. The scenery is turning a bit more beautiful now. There's a lot more pine trees and rivers and shit. We finally left the civilized area. Maybe another hour, hour and a half, and we're gonna be in the boy. Sweet. over there. Oh shit! Look at the mine! This is giant! And that's the big factory! Oh, that's so cool! Alright, I don't think it's gonna stop here. We already seem to have passed the station. The internet connection here is very bad, so I cannot load the details, but we're already more than halfway. into the forest, clean up, improvise from there. They were building a bridge there. So the front should be somewhere here. I don't think it's gonna stop. I think it's gonna just roll through slowly. There's an overwatch tower. Let's hop down.
We had to jump right before the yard. I bruised my knee a bit. There was an overwatch tower. I think the guy might have seen us. All right. It's okay, we're gonna wash up a bit, try to be a bit more presentable for the town. Yeah, I think I'm okay from the fall. There was a lot of shit going on. Should I jump? Should I get back in? I didn't think the train was going to slow down, and we didn't want to go through the yard further. I made a bad decision, I jumped out too quick. It was fast enough to make me trip. I'm never gonna do that shit again. I'm either gonna go through the yard or wait until it stops to walking speed. Better to get caught than break a fucking leg, so that's on me. <sighs> we made it. We're in the boy.